Greetings. I thought it was about time that I put another tape up. So today I'm looking at table selection. The first things I'm looking for in table selection, and I'm using Poker Tracker 4 to help me with this, is I want to identify the sort of players that I want to play against. The second thing I want to do is I want to put good players on my right and weak players on my left. What sort of players am I wanting to play? I'm looking for fish and I'm looking for nags as, as my prime opponents. Others are good, uh, like nits, which are these blue ones, whoops, they've gone already. Uh, the ones I don't want to play against typically are the ones that I mark as orange because um, they're regs and they're, they're good players. I also, um, if I play against tight aggressives or tags, which I mark as purple, I would want them on my right so I know when they're going to play. Um, I used to take lots of notes, and if you look at some of my earlier videos, you'll see that I took quite a lot of notes back in the day. Um, that was typically when I was only playing one or two tables at a time. Now I'm typically playing four tables at a time, and it's a slightly different situation. You don't have as much time. But Poker Tracker 4 does an awesome job of collecting notes automatically, and the more you play against someone, the more notes you're going to get. Typically, those notes happen when you get to a shootout, so um, it's where they've got to the end. So have a look here, Fish. This guy likes his pocket pairs and gets aggressive with those. He's a grinder. He plays multiple tables, which possibly explains why he plays those good hands, because he hasn't got time to play other hands. Um, got anything on this guy? No, this guy is a reg called 3 bits out of position pre-flop. It's interesting, ace two suited, so he likes his pocket aces, sorry, his suited aces. And knit here, let's have a look at some other tables and see if we can find some players that we've got information on. Something else that I'm looking for is, do they have 100 big blinds? If they have less than 100 big blinds, they're not maximizing the opportunity when they have a good hand. So I would normally have an automatic setting of, if I got behind a hundred big blinds, I would get that topped up straight away. We've got a nut there, nothing else about them. A lag, no information. A reg, so we've got quite a bit of information there. And he plays a variety of hands, especially he likes his blinds, so he doesn't like to be bet off his blinds. King nine suited, I quite like that too. Called with a draw, so he plays quite a wide range. So not a bad player, but not one I would want on my left. I'd want him on my right. Have a look around a few more. Nit, no information. Tag. That's a tight aggressor that I was talking about. Obviously doing reasonably well here. The, this color I use for calling stations or whales. Um, one or the other, I can tell when I get into the table which one that person actually is. But you don't actually have to necessarily know about players when you join a table, but it certainly helps. So if you've got information, then at least you've got a better idea of what you're up against. If you don't, you will soon start getting information and getting um, up to about 20 hands, you'll start figuring out uh, from the information that you collect what sort of player you're up against. So I would be looking for players on my right hand side who are strong, on my left hand side who are weak, and then I'm going to get into the hand. This can be quite time consuming if you're looking for um, four or more tables to play at, but it's definitely worthwhile. You've got a much better chance of making some money if you go through this process for every table that you want to play on before you move in. And then once you've got that information, then you're in a much stronger position to be making money. So that's a little bit about how I look at table selection using Poker Tracker 4. If you think this information is useful, in the comments you'll find a an affiliate link. You can get a free trial of Poker Stars, I think it's for a month. Um, 
and then you'll find I'm sure that it's well worth the investment to pay for a subscription and uh, it costs you no more if you click on the affiliate link but I get a little thank you as well for making the video. Thanks for watching and I might just append some play to this tape.